Hi, I want to thank you for joining the Whiting Public Library for our What's on the Mon Menu Monday. I am Tony and today we are going to be um, cooking a pesto pizza chicken. Um, so the ingredients are as follows. You need one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, uh, a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one cup of flour, two eggs, two tablespoons of lemon juice, six four ounce boneless skinless chicken breasts, uh, three quarters cup of basil pesto, one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, and 12 slices of So your first thing you wanna do is to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Um, you wanna then stir together your breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper into a shallow bowl. I already have done that over here. Um, then you want to put your flour in a second bowl. I did that there. And then finally, you want to whisk together eggs and lemon juice into your third bowl. Um, what you want to do is you want to dip your chicken breast first in the eggs. Just do that. Then you're going to put it into your flour. Then you go back into your eggs. And then you want to go ahead and put it in your breadcrumbs. And then you want to go ahead and then put that into a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. I'll do that one more time here. I'm only showing you two uh, chicken breast, you're going to do the same steps for the remaining four. Okay, so remember it goes eggs, flour, back to eggs, those really large chicken breasts. Then you want to take that over to your breadcrumbs. Sure you dredge that there. Okay. And then you go ahead and put that in your baking dish. Now I went ahead and added just a one additional step um, that was not part of the, the recipe. I thought it might be interesting to try um, to put a little tomatoes um, on there. I like a good roasted tomato when I'm having chicken, so I just went ahead and cut a couple slices of tomato that I'm going to put right on top of the chicken. And then you want to go ahead and put this into your 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. I will go ahead and do that right now. And then I'm going to show you what the next step is. Okay, so this has been in the oven for 20 minutes already. So from here, you want to go ahead and put two tablespoons of pesto. I already have measured that out. You put the two tablespoons of pesto right on the top of your chicken breast. And then you want to go ahead and put your cheese, and they recommend using a quarter cup of mozzarella. Put the cheese right on top. And then you could put two to three pieces of pepperoni on that. You're going to do the same for the second chicken breast. Put 
that's the red on the top. And then you want to go ahead and put your cheese and pepperoni on top of there. Then we're going to put that back into the oven. Um, it's still set for 400 degrees. And you want to put it in there for about five uh, to eight minutes until it's thoroughly cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and take that to the kitchen now. And then for after the five to eight minutes are done, you're going to take it out of the oven. And we have a finished product for you this week. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so that was how um, to make our pizza pesto chicken. Just want to let everyone know that on Saturday, October 10th, from 9 to 1 p.m., we are going to be having a pop-up book sale. Um, and it's going to be $2 for a bag of books. This Friday, um, I'm going to have my flashback Friday, and that should be at 1 o'clock. Later that evening, we're going to have our movie Under the Stars. We're going to be showing the film Beetlejuice, and the movie should start around 6.30, 6.45. So come out. It should be a beautiful night. And that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Um, like, comment, and share with all your friends. And again, I will be posting uh, the recipe that I, I um, made today on our Facebook page. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.